you also reported um, one of the most things that, that that was interesting to me is the fact that this game was originally thought of as a, a third person game. Right. Yeah, that was a while ago. This wasn't like a, a, a change in the middle of production or anything, because because this game has had a long development saga, as I think a lot of people know, in that it was announced in 2012. Um, it was announced before uh, Witcher 3 came out, even before Witcher 3 was even really in development. Um, and what happened was there was a small team always working on cyberpunk, as is often the case. Um, a lot of those people got Dragoon to help finish The Witcher 3. And I think that's another common trend in AAA game developers is that um, if they're trying to make game two games at once or more than one game at once, the one that's on fire will always get people and they'll have to move everybody to the one that's on fire at some point or another. But anyway, yeah. after The Witcher 3 comes out and all the DLC comes out, um, they suddenly have this influx of people, including a lot of leads and the director, Adam Badowski, or who I guess Adam Badowski is the studio head who wound up taking over as director around like late 2016 um and that was when the game that we know it today so really started coming into focus mm -hmm. um although a lot of decisions were made later but yeah that was around the time um that the that it became a first person game rather than a third person game yeah i was always really disappointed in that because like again like you're you're supposed to look at your character but like i gotta go all the way into the inventory screen to even like look at him you know yeah, um, it's very strange for a cyberpunk game in which your character's visuals are so important. But I will say that um, a third-person shooter with with stealth is a little bit harder to conceive. Like, they very much wanted to emulate Deus Ex in terms of choice and being able to sneak and shoot and all that. And, mm -hmm. yeah, third-person um, <clears throat> stealth shooter. I don't know. I guess Hitman... Well, no, Hitman is even a shooter. Are, are there any good, like, third-person stealth shooters that work well? Other than Metal Gear and Splinter Cell, but they've never well, been. Metal Gear was Phantom Pain was really the only one with like. A yeah, I was gonna say Phantom focused. Pain is the only one that actually works well, and that's after many many years of iteration and. After like fifteen years of iteration. Yeah. <laughs>